Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to Jan January, no not January, July 2024 general monthly reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, Taurus, now we've got some transits going on and a couple of them in your sign still. Okay, today I'm taping on the 4th, 4th of July. The new moon is on the 5th, which we, we are definitely in the energy of the new moon, which is Cancer, 14 degrees, 23 minutes, along with Venus. Venus is also in Cancer and it will stay in Cancer through the 11th of this month. We have still Aries, is, Chiron is in Aries and it is 23 degrees and it will remain that same all month long. Transiting North Node is also in Aries. It is retrograde. It begins the month at 11 degrees by the end of the month, eight degrees. We also still have Saturn in Pisces. It is also retrograde and it will be all month long. And it begins the month at 19 degrees and by the end of the month, 18 degrees. We also have Neptune in Pisces. It is 29 degrees for the whole month. And then Pluto is also retrograde in Aquarius. It begins the month at one degree by the end of the month, zero degrees. The full moon is in Capricorn on the 21st, and it is at 29 degrees, nine minutes. Okay, so now the, the ones to, the energies to know about, in my opinion, Taurus is Mars. Mars is in Taurus, your sign, right now through the 20th, and it is conjunct, a fairly close conjunction for the whole time or most of that time with Uranus, which is also in Taurus. Still, of course, you're probably very aware of that. And so again, Mars is the action planet. It's the very passionate taking action. So we can expect, and you Taurus, depending on how many planets and how close and how sensitive you are and how consciously aware you are too, of, of these current energies coming to you, um, again, your Taurus has to do with um, value, what you value, your personal value, um, what you see to be valuable for yourself, and how valuable you see yourself. And then, so that's individually, and then in the world, the value of the world and how things, how our way of life um, that we've all have been in and are still in. So there could be a lot of explosive, quick, unexpected, even surprising changes having to do with our values, having to do with individuals' values and um, expressing that out maybe quick, unexpected, even explosive or excited or however it's going to be um, a very passionate expression, physical expression, verbal expression. So we can watch that happen um, as we go through, through the 20th. And then it's not going to end there. It's going to change energy a little bit. Mars is going to transform from Taurus into Gemini. And then when it does that on the 21st, it's going to be that way the whole month long as well. And it will be a conjunct to, not a close conjunction, but a, but conjunct to transiting Jupiter, which is also in Gemini right now. And the sign of Gemini has to do with communication, has to do with messages, um, giving and receiving, and all kinds of communication, verbal, written, nonverbal. 
so we can expect more communication, um, passionate communication, and with Jupiter, Jupiter expands whatever it's next to. So the characteristics, it's going to expand the characteristics of Mars. So we can expect to see a lot more over the top expression, Mars forceful, passionate um, expression. Again, an expanded or um, exponential, that energy is gonna be more so than it would be if Jupiter wasn't there. So, and that could be in the whole um, spectrum of emotions and actions. Okay, communications. Okay, now that we're done with that, Taurus, let's see what energy or energies that are the strongest for you that are assisting you this month in whatever's happening for you. For Taurus, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, let's see if there's any more. For Taurus. Okay, wow, you have a lot, Taurus. Okay, nope, not gonna take you. Okay, so, wow, yeah. Okay, that's perfectly all right. Freedom, 21, that breaks down into a three. So. What I'm getting right off is you are freeing yourself or you just have freed yourself because recently from something, someone, uh, whatever that is, because freedom is, and maybe you haven't yet and you're going to this month, but depending on when you're reading this and again, it's going to be different for all of you, but freedom is a top priority and our, that energy of freedom is very big. It's at the top of your list this month. You being free. And I'm getting to some of you have just recently freed yourself from something. And so now you are being able to experience freedom in your life where you have never experienced that before. Or maybe some of you not for a long time. And again, you could have been doing this the last couple months, the last month, um, you're going to be in different, it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you are just beginning this month. Seventh chakra. The energy of the crown chakra supports our feeling of being connected to a higher power and part of a larger whole. Okay, so Taurus also, what is, okay, I'm getting, some of you ha have, received or are receiving freedom having to do with um, the deeper realms, the, the unseen, the higher powers that are going on around us all the time that we just aren't consciously aware of. Um, but you, Taurus, are becoming or you are more consciously aware of those higher powers and the higher forces and what um, the universe and what's going on. And so what I'm getting for some of you is that's freedom for you. That's freed you or that has or is freeing you. Knowing these, knowing, receiving this information and having that greater understanding of the unseen realms, the unseen realm. And getting that bigger picture, uh, it's it's like a puzzle, and you're you now have gotten another piece of that puzzle, and so now you can see a, a bigger picture, a more a rounded whole view uh, for yourself and for others, and just what's going on in the world. Maybe what's going on, yeah, in the whole world, in the whole universe, and how that how you fit into this whole. And so you have an expanded view or you're going to have an expanded view. Okay, the fifth chakra you also have, which has to do with um, communication. So, okay, some of you, if you haven't begun already, 
you you are having an expanded view communication of the unseen realm the uh, higher realms you're receiving communication you're being able to communicate to um, where you haven't been able to do that before and that's expanded that has opened your mind that has um, given you also freedom freedom it's freed you because you see things in a clearer, uh, more honest way. Maybe having to do with this earth and what's really going on and, and how things really work as opposed to what we've been told. I'm just getting a whole bunch of different messages, so it's going to be different for all of you. But that's a big deal. And so, and also I'm getting your fifth chakra and your seventh chakra is opening up. And again, that's freedom because that's freeing your energy. That's where, where it was blocked before you. Now your energy is just free. So you're more relaxed. You're more able to, to communicate, to express yourself, to be open, to communicate to the higher realms too. Um, you're just really expanding originality. This is number 31. The frequency of originality supports our capacity to be unique and original creators of unlimited possibilities in every moment. Yeah, you're just really, this is another freedom. You're just really opening up and um, being able to show your true self and just be who you are um, naturally, just automatically, regardless of what's going on around you or um, you're just, you're just you, you're just in the joy, just in the freedom, expressing the freedom you now this month can truly express the freedom of who you truly are, your originality, your own unique originality is coming out in a way that has never come out before. New energies, you are, okay. Because you're vibrating in a higher uh, frequency. And so those new energies are, you're just now, um, they're solidifying in you. And so they're a part of you or becoming a part of you this month. And so you are just naturally, automatically expressing your unique self your own originality. And you're opening or open, open or opening to that, that you are the creator of your own universe, that you have unlimited, there is, there is unlimited possibilities of what you can create now. You're opening up to that. That's a whole new world, and that is freeing you. That is awesome. Taurus, that's awesome. That's beautiful. You have a lot of chakras that are opening. Here's another one, the second chakra. So what I'm first getting, the second chakra has to do with your passion, passion um, the energy of your dreams and desires, and that's opening up because I'm getting, you're able to see that you are the creator, you can, you're the one to make your dreams come true. You are the one, you have the ability, you can do this, you are doing this, and you're seeing them come true, one by one. And you're gonna see if you, if you you're either gonna continue to see through, through this month, or you're gonna begin to see what you can create. And that it's you creating. It's your energy. It's your thoughts. It's your feelings. The world you desire. Joy. Look at that. Okay, so some of you, you could have strong Aries placements or placement, strong Aries placement in your chart because Aries got joy. 
I think it was Aries that got, yes, Aries got joy because this is only the second one I've done today. And then I have one more after you. So you could have Aries. You don't have to. You, If you do and you feel called to listen to that, that reading as well, that will also be helpful to round this out and you'll get a more um, detailed view of you exactly what's happening for you in July. Okay, now. <laughs> Okay, so it's number 28. Again, that's a 10. And so you've been working on something. And so now the joy, you get to experience joy in your life. You get to experience the, the vibrational, high vibrational frequency of what you've been working on. And maybe this is you, your freedom, and just, just freedom to express and be you and watch your dreams come true and live your dreams or live your dream there. That's joy right there. But you're going to, this is, this is an awesome month for you, an outstanding month for you. The energy of joy activates our feelings of happiness and well being, and supports a high vibrational frequency in our being. Yes. So you just being joyful you will be emanating that joy everywhere you go. And all, all who come in contact with you, they're going to benefit from your high vibrational joyful energy just by being in your space. That's beautiful. And that's what I'm getting is you have, that's what you have to share the freedom of being joyful and yourself and being able to just openly express you communicate who you are naturally. And that's what others are going to be feeling from you this month. And I, I just got, they could even say you are a breath of fresh air. If they don't say that, that's how they're feeling. It's like you come in and you're just a breath of fresh air, Taurus. You're just, you enable others to relax and be calm and happy in your space. You, you're sharing that with, with others. Again, just naturally, whether you know that or not, this month especially. And maybe it's just starting this month for some of you. Okay, let's see what other information, other details that want to come out to tell Taurus. This was a load full just with these cards. So beautiful. That's why so many came out that just needed to ex express themselves, just like you. Okay, so let's see Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, North or South Nodes of the Moon for Taurus. What else do they need to know about this new freedom and just joy of being alive and expression? Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And what they're receiving from the information they're receiving from the higher realms. What's being shared with them? Okay. Any card? Little cards? There we go. Okay. Hazel. The first thing I'm getting from this hazel card, this beautiful tree bush, um, healing. You've done a lot of healing. And now, oh, also, with this joy and with your energy this month, you are healing others. While they're in your energy, you're healing them. You're awakening them to be able to begin their healing or uh, assist in their healing because joy heals, freedom heals. 
That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hazel. I just got somebody's name is Hazel. So I don't know, um, Taurus, if it's you, Hazel. I'm also getting that somebody's grandmother is named Hazel. And she's passed over. She's communicating with you. Or she's desiring to communicate with you. Or she will be communicating with you if she's not already. Again, her name is Hazel. And she's your grandmother. Possibly a great grandmother for some of you. This could be more than one person. She's very proud of you. She's very proud of you. And the work that you have done. And who you are. Um, and who you are becoming. She's very proud of you, but she wants to, she wants to communicate with you if she's not already. And again, maybe this is what's awakening. Maybe it, it I don't know if this is past, present or future. Um, but I, I'm telling you everything that's coming into, into my head, into my mind that needs to be relayed. Maybe she started this in the spring for some of you. And maybe it's the springtime. Because if you're in the northern hemisphere, it's the summertime right now. But maybe um, wherever you're at, it's the springtime. Because I'm also getting... So, again, these are just different messages. And it's going to be different for all of you. So, it, it sounds like it's more than one person. Could be. Because Hazel's a... A common name especially for a, a grandmother okay anyway okay she's wanting to congratulate you but she wants to do it uh, uh, not just through me she wants to be able to actually communicate with you and she's so happy because it looks like if you're not already you're just about there and she will be able to because that that um, gateway, that that um, your chakra, your your crown chakra, and your fifth chakra is um, opening up, so that she will be able to. You will be able to hear her. You will be able to speak with her and and have communication back and forth with her, if you don't already. Okay. So let's see where we're at. 22, 22. So 22 or 222 could be a, um, a sign or synchronicity of this desired communication I just got with Hazel, with your grandmother. 22 could also be a significant number for someone. Okay, so let's see, is there anything else? Okay, so let's take this. Uh, is, is Hazel or are some of you Native American? I just got a strong sense that some of you watching or possibly um, this grandparent is Native American. Okay, let's see what else for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising. North or south nodes of the moon for Taurus. Well. I just got to that um, if you are Native American, I'm getting that you've either recently or you are um, desiring to get back to your roots. And, and if that's the case and you have a grandmother that's Native American, she is very, very happy and she is joyful that you're, that you're going to do that or that you are doing that or that you have done that. Talking stick. Yeah, um, talking stick. I'm just getting a Taurus for a lot of you. 
You're, you are either just have recently or you will be receiving communication. And we're talking from the higher realms. So a passed over loved one, spirit guide, um, your higher self, the universe, however you see that to be, whoever you see that to be. But that is opening up for you. And that's one of your blessings. That's a gift of yours. That's a blessing of yours. And it's very freeing for you. Because it's a way that, that you are going to be able to give and receive information uh, other than just what you've done, which is limited here on this earth. And so it's going to be very, very um, liberating for you is what I just got. Liberating for you. And you're going to see also that you're not alone. You are not alone. You have others around you and you have had others around you assisting you. Okay, here's one more card that wants to come out. Elder, there you go. Yes. That's just a confirmation to me that yes, you're passed over loved ones and elder from the, you know, so um, star family loved ones, um, however you want to see that. Your ancestors or an ancestor has been with you and is with you now. So if you have thought that you were alone, you're not alone, Taurus. Not You are not alone. And you are never alone. Someone needed to hear that. So I just, I just want to say that. Your passed over loved one is around you and trying to communicate with you. trying to get your attention. So maybe this will help you. Okay. Well, Taurus, a lot has been said with these little bit of cards. So I'm going to end the reading now and I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you for allowing me to read for you today for you, a July monthly. And yes, you're opening up. So you enjoy yourself, enjoy your freedom, enjoy this new, new expansion that you're having, Taurus. Until next time. Bye.